Choose to be greater with Summit Natural Drinking Water. Our drinking water of choice that helps refresh us with the right hydration. At nagbibigay ng right minerals. Summit Natural Drinking Water. Thirst for more. Namco is a place where we bring home our highly experienced and skilled mechanics from all over the world to serve their fellow Ilocanos. Kinagaget is one of the greatest traits of being an Ilocano, and together with the most advanced technologies, tools, and equipments, we proudly provide the most globally competitive service in the North. The true test of salesmanship is not when you sell a car, but it is when your customers keep coming back for more. And when they start recommending you to others, then you know you've done a great job. And that's what Namco is all about. Live at the SD SGS Stadium, you're watching the Bounty Fresh GAPL 2024 Mitsubishi Namco Ilocos Cup. My name is Hans Galeria. Together with me is Coach Ed Stercy to bring you the second game of this triple header Metro Summit contra the Hyundai Home Appliances. It's green versus blue on this one. And for Metro Summit, they want to end the season strong. Para sa Hyundai, you don't want to have a better seeding sa darating na Final Four. Tama, and uh, syempre, Hyundai gusto rin makabawi from the games that they had where in the last game nila, talo sila. So gusto nila makabawi para entering the semi-final round. Galing ka sa panalo, mas maganda yung pakiramdam mo. While itong Metro Summit, medyo mostly composed of batch 93. So medyo malapit sa edad nila itong, itong uh, Hyundai compared to sa mga ibang nakalaban nila. So I think... Uh, uh, gaganahan maglaro itong uh, Metro Summit. Especially with the standings that we have right now. As we mentioned, Metro Summit still looking for their, you know, very first win to end the season. Meanwhile, itong Hyundai Home Appliances would like to go for a three-way tie contra doon sa go up and up in the Vicon Builders. So this match is as important as the other ones that have happened before. Oh, and then, uh Magdi-depende rin kung sino makakalaban nila, whether they win or they lose. But uh, what's good about Hyundai here, buong buo yung team eh. You'd always see them, marami yung players. And alam naman natin na mas meron pa silang pinagahandaan bigger league, which is the Inter Alumni Tournament. 
I wonder how that's to the goal. But for now, let's throw it over to our game announcer for the starting lineup. Dexter Kwon for number 15, Francis C. For number 22, Eddie C. And center number 5, Edwin Young. Head coach is Joseph Tai. And now the starting five for Metro Summit. At core number five, Richmond C. To core number 23, Sherwin Yao. Forward number 14, Big Tan Heko. Also at forward number 16, Richmond Lee. At center number 22, Raymond Kwon. Starting lineups for both of the teams are being shown on your screens right now. Quite a traditional starting lineup para sa Hyundai. Meanwhile, for Metro Summit, I'm quite surprised. You know, we haven't seen Richmond Lee be in the starting lineup for a usual time. Mm -hmm. But it's nice to see him be part of it now. Oh, yes. and uh, maganda rin ng uh, matchup here. Dahil uh, maganda rin mga big man dito na Metro Summit in Raymond Kwan. Victor Tanheco, Merrick C. Eh, mapapalaban ng uh, big man ng Hyundai. Sherwin Yao now gets it to Lee. This time, quick seven seconds. Ang natita na sa shot clock. They decide to go for a three. Too strong on that one. Ilan sa mga major contributors sa itong Metro Summit ay itong si Richmond C. So you're really gonna have to, you know, take note of how he will be competing in this match. And, uh, maraming players yung wala dito sa Hyundai last time. Wala yung Jonathan Yu. Wala yung uh, uh, Edwin Herrera na visibly nandito sa ball game na to. That's gonna be Lee who gets blocked. Three on one. Make it a 4v2 situation. That's their one. Safely securing the first two points para sa Hyundai. Alam, alam, alam natin that the ito talaga yung main man ng Hyundai si Dexter Kwan and they were egging his uh, younger brother Raymond Kwan na uh, bantayan itong kanyang uh, ahiyan na si Dexter Kwan Speaking of which <laughs> Dexter Kwan starting us off on a very good note with an end one opportunity nakapakabilis naman nun Oo, oh, hindi natin alam kung paano rin na-shoot yun alakoy na tira Tumama ng banda, pumasok para dito kay Dexter Kwan. That was also the Geely drive of the quarter. Brought to you by Geely Motors. And Dexter Kwan, all five points to himself. Maganda yung panimula niya itong si Dexter Kwan. And just wala pang two minutes ang nakakalipas. Yan na siyang five points. Richmond Lee now on the left elbow. Looking for someone. Couldn't find it. Raymond Kwan decides to unleash a three. And that is looking good. Bawi ko yun sa pa rin ko ngayon. And you guys, si Raymond Kwan eh, kung di block shot, three-pointers ang ginagawa. Yap on the right elbow. Decides to give it back to Dexter. There's a three. Not gonna work that time. Yap safely skying over those Metro Summit defenders. Kaya naman mafafoul siya sa pagkakataon na yun. That's a second team foul para sa kanila. Raymond Kwan is also going to be called for his first personal. Fresh 14. Ang itatawag. And a steal now. Lee secures it. And it looks like they'll safely get it across. Oh, lagi dati for Hyundai pag may kalaban sila. Ang advantage sa kanila is the speed. Tapos silang advantage is oh. the height eh. Yao leaves it to Tanheko and then to Lee. Iniwan na naman. Kasi hindi po mapasok yung kanila mga tira so far to start it off. There's another shot. Couldn't be made. So far nitong si Chua. He's had, a, he's had three shots to be specific. He hasn't made a lot of them so far. Grabe itong big men ng uh, Hyundai. Edwin Yap, Eddie C, and Francis C. Manning the paint. Eh, kailangan ng Metro Summit dito is to hit their outside shots. See now, a slight miscommunication or a complete miscom para sa dalawang players. Itong Metro Summit. 
really going to be heavy, important. 3 to 5, still the score with 6.43 remaining. Yeah, from mid range, not going to work. Two big guys right over there. Richmond C now bringing it down. Gets it to Lee for three. Hits the back rim. And that is going to be a possession that will head back to Hyundai. Dexter Kwan, the point guard Dito for Hyundai. High post for Francis C. Extra passing and Edwin Yap, the big man from the baseline. And damning big man and my soft touch Kanina. And that's Edwin Yap also for this game. That was a beautiful pass, an extra pass, and then Edwin Yap to finish it off. A slow paced ball game, but Hyundai leads 73. Back into the ball game we go. You are watching the Bounty Fresh GABL 2024 Namco Mitsubishi Elohas Cup between Metro Summit and Hyundai Home Appliances. This is presented to you by Bounty Fresh, also in collaboration with Tenacity Sportswear, Midway Design Center, Masumax, and RF Frey Prime Ventures. Six minutes left in the first quarter. Sherwin Yao on the left corner. Wants to go all the way. EE1 get Richmond Lee. Pero not up again, Sha, with a fresh leg brought about. But Sherwin Yao fighting through contact. And he will be heading into the line for two. Ganda na mga extra passing. Eh. Metro Summit is trying to do those extra passes. Medyo natatapikan lang netong Hyundai. But I like the activity I see from uh, Metro Summit. Marshall Electrical and Metal Products. For your electrical panel boards and enclosures, visit their website. Marami raming salamat po sa pagsuporta sa ating GABL 2024. Two for two para kay Sherwin Niao sa pagkakataon na yun. As they are just within two points, you know, Metro Summit holding their own in this competition. But they've, they, I think they have the same dilemma as Fabros from a while ago. They only have three players on the bench compared to like... <laughs> How would I explain this, coach? <laughs> oh, one is to three, you know, kumbaga, yun ang ala, or one is to 2.5 in terms of the number of players, number of players that they have in the bench. This time it's Wong shooting from the range, and that is a good looking decision. Now we're all tied up at seven. Oh, oh and like. Uh, but I mentioned, karamihan ng mga teams na nakalaban na itong Hyundai, pati ng Metro Summit, ang naging advantage is yung takbuhan. Hindi nakasabay itong uh, Metro Summit, Hyundai, medyo doon nahihirapan. Kaya maganda itong matchup na ito, eh, lalo na yung mga big men na itong dalawang team. Sherwin Yao, nagbababa na bola. A chance to have the lead para sa Metro Summit. Couldn't get it. Wong, offensive rebound. Iiwan na naman kay Richmond Lee. And then to Raymond Kwan. Gives it to the center. Takes the shot. Too strong on that one. The smallest guy on the floor with the offensive rebound. Sherwin Yao, even with a contact, couldn't get the foul call. Hyundai. Kaw decides to take a three. Too strong. Both misses from both teams. And uh, Sumenya Skaga, si Sherwin. Teka lang, set up muna tayo. Wala muna takbuhan. And uh, nabanggit mo yan kanina, walo lang kasi sila sa kanilang uh, lineup. A foul is gonna be called. Dito contra kay Richmond Lee. That's gonna be two free throws. You know, it's nice to see him getting extended minutes. Usually, he's the player na nagpapasab gagad eh. Pero ngayon, parang you see him going inside the basket, giving the extra effort as well. Oh, oh and uh, medyo nag-alala din tayo dito para kay Richmond Lee because last time medyo may iniinda, may pulled, uh, I'm not sure if it's hamstring or growing. Pero even so, uh, ganda nilalaro na ito sa season na to. 
this time around. They have the lead. Metro Summit really is looking forward to ending this season on a strong note. Mm -hmm. going, going up against one of the obvious members of the Final Four already, itong Hyundai Home Appliance. Yeah, a win by Hyundai would uh, actually win or loss, they would be in number four, uh, number three, sorry. Pero magiging iba yung kalaban kung mananalo sila, ang makakalaban nila is uh, go up and up sa semifinals at mm -hmm. kung matatalo sila, ang makakalaban nila is uh, itong uh, Vicon Builders. Because triple tie sila and uh, yun yung magiging pairing for the semifinals. So far, that was Richmond C. Trying to get inside the basket as well. Pero hindi niya mapapasok. Hindi ba niya mapasok yung tira na yun? It's still gonna be two free throws for him. And they've been making a living out of the free throw line in this quarter. Magellan Coffee. Explore the world through coffee. Through Magellan Coffee. May isang problema ni Coach Joseph Thayan. Isang dami ng player niya sa bench. Sino kaya yung papalit kanino? That's one problem. But uh, a good problem, of course, for Hyundai yes. Home Appliance. And especially in this situation, you know, that either way, mm -hmm. we're naman to na ng Final Four. Mm -hmm. So might as well use all of our players now, give them a lot of, you know, the confidence that they need in the coming next matchup. And hopefully we can build on that in the future. But so far, it's going to be a foul that's called against Brian oh, Wong. Yeah. And you're going to have to take note of that as well. That it's a little risky for them to do that with a depleted bench as well. Pero lamang naman sila. They lead by just four, 11 to 7 in favor of Metro Summit. I don't go for bare minimum, be it for myself, my career, or my car. Coming from the States, we have very high standards, and Hamco has not only met my expectations, but their staff has been more than accommodating. Kaya naman sa Namco talaga, napanatagang loob ko. Sure win ako with Namco. Detoy ni Ed Dakiwag, proudly Ilocano. Detoy ti Namco. Detoy ti Mapagtalgan. Also, proudly Ilocano. Back to the ball game we go. <laughs> there has been, uh, you know, so... A playful sight. <laughs> Mula sa Hyundai Home Appliance, they're just really trying to motivate their extra players. And this is what you're talking about. Fresh legs na naman. Para sa kupunan ng Hyundai. The men in blue trailing by four. They're going to have to take note of that constantly. 4-3. That is looking good. Para dito kay Emerson D. Eh, pag nasa lobby, Emerson D. Have to look out that he would take that uh, three-pointer. Wow, Ryan Wong with a fast break. Madaling na break ng, ng uh, Metro Summit yung press doon ng Hyundai Home Appliance. Talagang latak, bato na lang kaagad. But D again, almost a two for two on that one. The ball possession will be staying with the side of Hyundai Home Appliance. As you're looking at the Mets cold blooded three point shot of the quarter. Taken by Emerson D. Ooh. Looking good on that shot too. Oh, alam natin yun yung gagawin yan. Yet he was left open on that left side. And Jonathan oh, yeah. Yu, absent during their last game. So alam mo, back to back losses itong ano, itong uh, Hyundai Home Appliance. So they need this uh, additional boost to get them going. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> that works. Oh. That works either way. Oh. Brian Wong is on a hot streak today. Six points already para sa kanya. You know, parang pinabagal na aliyup, Victor Tanheko to Brian Wong. Pero mabini sa nampawi naman. Nito si Alvin ko or Andrew ko rather going ahead for it. Merixi gets it to Tanheko. That is something that you love to see, especially from Metro Summit. Oh, and somehow both times and I try maga full court pressure on Hyundai. It was easily broken by Metro Summit with those quick short passes. Di naman minadale, but those short passes ng Metro Summit. All five members na kababana para sa Hyundai, so Metro Summit will be setting up their offense. 
Richmond C for three. Too strong on that one. Cole absorbing the rebound now. Yunag Bamadale goes to the patented jumper, and that is looking good. Just trailing by one and win die. You know, maganda with uh, Jonathan Yu. Not only his uh, pesky defense, but yung mga perimeter shots, the running shot, and the pull up shot. Yan yung ano, yan yung uh, nako contribute na itong si Jonathan Yu. Alessandro Ko gets it to you. A wide open D for three. Off to the left it goes. Brian Wong. Now that Van Heko notices the size advantage, pero pinikap niya in dribble niya. He instead gives it to the right side. Too strong on that one as well. Young finds you. Gets it to Ko down under. He has some space. Pero ibibigay nila sa loob. Young decides to take it all the way. Not gonna be effective, pero may foul na itatawag. Buti na lang. Wala pa sila sa penalty situation. So they still have one more shot to go. Yeah, wala pa sa penalty. 13 seconds from Metro Summit. To try to score and preserve the lead to end the first quarter. Of course, you also have tiny, medium, and large snowbird sando bags. As quality is our strength, and strength is our quality. Maraming salamat po sa pagsuporta sa ating GABL 2024 season. Raymond Kwan checking back in. Tanheko with five seconds to go. Takes the shot. Too strong. Kwan has some time. Or not. Dahil saan matatapos ang ating pinakaunang quarter. It's been a tight contest so far. 17-16 in favor of Metro Summit as you see some highlights brought about by Mandarin Sky. <laughs> oh, ang ganda ng Alakoy na tira na yun ni Dexter Kwan and Brian Wong. Four points already in the ball game. And ito, mat sure ko, na-miss ng Hyundai Home Appliances si Jonathan Yu. Like what we mentioned, those quick short passes for Metro Summit breaking that uh, press by Hyundai Home Appliance. That's the reason why they're up by 1, 17-16. Second quarter, when we return. I don't go for bare minimum, be it for myself, my career, or my car. Coming from the States, we have very high standards, and Hamco has not only met my expectations, but their staff has been more than accommodating. Kaya naman sa Namco talaga, napanatagang loob ko. Sherwin ako, with Namco. Detoy ni Ed Dakiwag, proudly Ilocano. Detoy ti Namco. Detoy ti Mapagtalgan. Also, proudly Ilocano. Back to the ball game we go. You are watching the GABL 2024 Namco Mitsubishi Ilocos Cup presented to you by Bounty Fresh in collaboration with Tenacity Sportswear, Masomax, RFRA Prime Ventures. Hans Guilaria. Coach Hatser C is still with you. You're looking at a one-point lead by Metro Summit contra sa Hyundai Home Appliance. It's sure when you're absorbing the contact and getting the first two points past the second quarter. Maganda rin sumagasa itong si Sherwin Yao. You know he will take it strong to the basket. Kaya kahit merong konting bunggu doon, kontrolado niya ang kanyang balance to make that shot. That is also a good-looking shot. Galing kay Peter Kosip. Lead back down to one and a man. So for Hyundai Home Appliance, now new faces, fresh leg, Peter Kosip and uh, Joseph Yu in the ball game. Sherwin Yao, the left corner. Decides to get it to Raymond Kwan. Merrick C now, does he have time? Yes, he does. But that is going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. Dahil oh, hindi to mama. Tama. Hindi tumama ng ring, kaya hininto ng referee. Baka yung iba kasi nagtatanong, oh, nakuha na namin ang bola, tiba? Nakuha na namin bola. Bakit pa pinituan ng referee? Reason is hindi tumama ng ring. Pero kung tumama yun ng ring, then nakuha. Then the continuation yun. Now it's you. Getting it over to that left side. Not gonna work so far para kay Tan. Now they go to Sherwin Yao. Leaves it para kay Merrick C. Goes the all the way. Too strong. But getting the friendly roll para sa dalawang puntos. Merrick C. 
Ibang klase talaga pag drumay to si Mary, eh, kahit na padahan-dahan and all, kontroladong kontrolado niya. We're gonna have to take care of it for just a bit as another shot is trying to be made. But couldn't work so far. Sherwin Yao is gonna be fouled as of this moment oh, para matigil yung opensa ng Metro Summit. They lead by three mm -hmm. with less than eight minutes and 30 seconds to go. So far, the running game goes to Metro Summit. They're trying to push that ball. Mo, wala namang mabilis mag-dribble for them, but uh, the short passes, kahit pa paano, do, nakakarating kaagad for, for their attack. I believe they want to go to Kosep again. And the shot is made from the mid-range. And a bang-bang, he said. <laughs> Para kay Bunny Ong. You see Bonnie usually makes his shot here at the top of the key. And right now, even that side, wala naman diferensa, parehas lang din yung distansa. He is a shooter for uh, Hyundai Home Appliance. Merrick C this time for three. Short on that attempt. And Mama Dalina naman itong si Yu. Absorbing it is Merrick C. Safely securing it. They want to go ahead. Sherwin Yao goes against the defenders. And there we finally have it. There's just a little bit more happening. We are at a tie for an all 21 situation. And the physicality is slowly being felt here. Especially in the na Metro Summit. Mm -hmm. Nandun yung mga bombs, you know. Uh, oh, dahil oh, sa medyo yung Hyundai Home Appliance lacks the speed. Kaya medyo may konting bump pa minsan minsan para ma augment yung speed factor na itong Metro Summit. So we want to go ahead. That's Brian Wong who's going to be fished for a foul. Dala wang free throw. Kanya mga kuwa ngayon. You know, it's been a reliable source of points para sa Metro Summit in the first quarter, and they want to do the same for the second. Mm -hmm. I think he has six points already sa ball game na to. And uh, love and care with Mimi Flo, everything you need for your baby, Mimi Flo. It's time to want to go ahead. That's going to be another miss. Ganun pa man, mananatili sa kanila ang bola with a fresh 14 to work with. They're gonna have to take care of the basketball, Sherwin Yao. Tumama sa kanyang uh, lower body, but it's still fine. Merrick C will try. Rolls off the basketball. Good line for him. Pero ni Luwai. So here's a set-up play for uh, Hyundai. Look at Tong now on the left. Elbow works. Para kay Dennis Yu. Now Hyundai takes the lead. May dalawang shooter kasi. Actually, tatlo yan. Dennis Yu, Peter Kossip, and Bonnie Ong. Somehow, yung spacing ng depensa ng Metro Summit, kailangan lakihan pa ng konti. Ooh, but there you finally have it. Richmond C has been trying that for the entire first quarter. And you have to feel good. Once na pumasok na siya. As we take a look at it one more time, a little closer. Konting upu sa ere. At dalawang puntos to tie the ball game all square 23 with 6.20 left in the second quarter. To the ball game we go. It's at an all 23 ball game between Metro Summit and Hyundai Home Appliances. There are some situations, especially para sa Hyundai, on whether they win or lose this game. Para sa darating the final four matchup. Mm -hmm. Again, coming from back to back losses, you'd want to end the elimination round with a win. Para pagpasok mo sa semifinals, galing ka sa panalo. 
Although, Mabi Bitawan, Tanyong Bola. So, possession will go back to Metro Summit, who has been playing very well in this game. Controlado, yung kanilang pace, the tempo is really on their side. Richmond Lee gets it to Tanheko. He gets it back. Decides to go all the way. And a scoop shot into the basket. Parang talagang inek on siya. Yun na itong si Richmond Lee. Diba? Binigay sa kanya. Binalik ni Richmond Lee. Sabi, sagasaan mo. And uh, that's what Victor Tanheko did. Another miss there para sa Hyundai Home Appliance. Let's take a look at this. A Masamak strong play over a towering body, which is Tan. He still got it to go para sa dalawang puntos ng Metro Summit. Now they want to extend it once again to a double possession game. Cross guard pass to C. That's another shot. Too strong as well. And that is a kickball violation para kay Tan. So a fresh 14 is awarded once again. Para dito, sa Metro Summit. Oh, so far, that extra passing. Ang ganda ng cut to be sure with Yao. On point with that assist by Richmond Lee. Nakao play para sa Metro Summit to increase the lead to four points. That is almost, or not even almost anymore. That's a successful steal. Para dito sa Hyundai Home Appliances. No fouls whatsoever. Ang itatawag. As Ong, Bonnie Ong will be sit sitting down after committing that foul. Babalik yung ilo sa mga members. Dexter Kwan. We also have, you know, Francis C joining the party as well. Kasama si Jerry Lim. So, three fresh legs. Para dito sa Hyundai Home Appliance. Richmond B against Kwan. Iniwan sana para kay Yao. Pero that's not going to be successful. Lee saves it. And that is going to be Kosep. Who could be successful. Fishing for a foul. That's just the first team foul para sa Metro Summit. Oh, very active itong si Richmond Lee in trying to get those steals. Uh, coming from behind and all na mukhang maganda-ganda na yung hangin na itong si Richmond Lee. Tuloy-tuloy, coach, mm. no? Yung takbo. And you love to see it. The resistensya is there. 14 seconds to work with. Dexter Kwan gets it to Jerry Lim for three. Not gonna work that time. And ball possession will be going to the side of Metro Summit. Oh. Sinubukan ni Victor Tanheko talaga to box out uh, Alex Tad. So, ball goes to Metro Summit. Twelve seconds left. Metro Summit turning the ball around. Yao for three. Too short on that one. Hindi nakahamakin pa yan itong si Dexter Kwan. Maganda, so, oh, maganda yung challenge yun ni Francis C to distract that shot. Here he comes. This is why he will be rewarded with an, with an opportunity but he decides yes. to give it back to Dexter Kwan para sa mas magandang tira. Oh, ang mag batch mate, batch 1992, Dexter Kwan to Francis C. And that pull-up jumper of Dexter Kwan, money for him. C couldn't get the ball inside the free throw area. Now Dexter Kwan trying to get a hold of the basketball. He won sana, pero kuha yan itong si Sherwin Yao. Nagbamadali na naman ang Metro Summit. Two on three play. Tanheko retrieves the ball back. He decides to take it all the way. That's not gonna work against the outstretched arms nitong si Eddie C. This time, a fader will not work as well para kay Francis C. Parehas nagmamadali ang dalawang team. Uh, wala nang medyo set of plays so those two possessions. With two minutes and 25 seconds remaining in our ball game. Or here in the uh, second quarter. Lee almost getting it, pero Francis C ang magre-retrieve niya. Nagmamadali na naman silang muli, just like what you said, coach. 
trying to zone everybody out. Mm -hmm. Dexter Kwan looks for a better space para I see. And Yao, a little too much contact <laughs> on that one, means that oh, it's going to be cost for a foul. Maganda yung get the footwork of Francis C. Napakaganda, hindi nagmadali doon fishing for that foul. So that means a timeout is going to be called. It's Metro Summit na meron pa rin kalamangan, 27 to 25. Back into the ball game we go. You are taking a look at Metro Summit holding a two-point lead contra sa Hyundai sa ngayon. Pero si Francis si gustong tapiasan yan. Lowering it down to one with that free throw. Second shot. Unsuccessful. Too strong. Kaya naman isang puntos pa rin ang kanilang kalamangan ngayon. Metro Summit still hanging on to that one-point lead. Oh, that's a good-looking shot. Just not the best in terms of landing. This time, they want to speed up the pace. Francis C. Kanya na naman na iwan. And that is going to be a basket count. Para ay Francis C. Napangiti na lang doon itong si Raymond Kwan. They know itong Hyundai Home Appliance na nangongolekta itong si Raymond Kwan na mga player na nabubutata niya. And somehow Francis C. was able to get that one in on that fast break attempt and completes it with, the, with that free throw. And Sino Pro Enterprise at Shockman Trucks, your heavy duty partner. Lead now going to Hyundai with that huge swing. Galing dito ay Francis C. Now it's gonna be Richmond trying his best to manufacture a play. Yao victory. Not gonna work that time. Good pressure defense there by uh, Ben Ong. It's a ball carrier. Na iba ba yung shot clock to five bago maka attempt itong Metro Summit and Dexter Kwan. Now, Hans, rarely does he take three-point shot. And baka ito maging signal niya na dapat he would take more of those kinds of shots. And also, if you're that wide open, why not? Mm -hmm. It's a very good-looking shot anyway. Can extend from the mid-range. Kaya angat ang lamang ng Hyundai sa lima. Babawi ba si Richmond? The answer is yes for Richmond C. Alam mo, the familiarity of these uh, players among themselves. Hindi lang uh, sa Hyundai or sa Metro Sam, that both teams talagang matagal na rin magkakilala at naglalaro. And uh, Raymond Kwan was like, sayang huli na niya. But a foul <laughs> was called against uh, Richmond C on a body contact. No? Richmond C and Francis C magpinsan yan. Tinuro niya na rin, coach, eh. Kung baga, parang... Maligang ka na sa akin. Pero... I got you. Parang ganun, eh, no? Not today, says Francis C. As he will be heading into the line to shoot for two. Yung kaninang, you know, seesaw battle that we've seen in the first quarter seems to be the same thing that is happening now. And in fact, Francis C. holding the lead and probably extending it to just three points. Shot clock is off now. Last shot again for Metro Summit, just like in the first quarter. Let's see how they would uh, do this play for them. Five seconds left. They want to go all the way. Richmond see unsuccessful with that one. And that only means one thing. Jaan matatapos ang ating first half. And at the end of it, lamang na ngayon ang Hyundai 33-30. But you're just gonna have to take a look at the quarter highlights brought to you by Mandarin Sky. You know, quarter highlights we see here, Bonnie Yong, with that mid-range and bang bang for him. And uh, Sir Rich Monsi, good shooting here the second quarter. Kanina meron di siyang three-point shot. And Dexter Kwan, rarely again do you see him 
take those three-point shots, but when he does, and taas din ng porsyento. Lead by three, Hyundai heading into the second half. Choose to be greater with Summit Natural Drinking Water. Our drinking water of choice that helps refresh us with the right hydration. At nagbibigay ng right minerals. Summit Natural Drinking Water. Thirst for more. Namco is a place where we bring home our highly experienced and skilled mechanics from all over the world to serve their fellow Ilocanos. Kinagaget is one of the greatest traits of being an Ilocano, and together with the most advanced technologies, tools, and equipments, we proudly provide the most globally competitive service in the North. The true test of salesmanship is not when you sell a car, but it is when your customers keep coming back for more. And when they start recommending you to others, then you know you've done a great job. And that's what Namco is all about. The 33 is the score. Brought to you the GABL 2024 Namco Mitsubishi Ilocos Cup. This is, of course, the halftime stats brought to you by ITG. Somewhat similar considering na dikit lang ang ating laban. Oh, 11 out of 37 uh, for Metro Summit and 13 of 31 for Hyundai. 3 out of 14 for the three point range going for Hyundai. Free throw, 6 8. 6 out of 8 and 4 out of 6. The assist para sa Hyundai, 11 of 7. So talagang uh, based on the stats, uh, ITG halftime stats natin, dikit ang stats, dikit ang laro. Even yung scoring output, ay dikit din para sa dalawang kupunan. You have at least 5 players. The only difference there that I am seeing is Dexter Kwan, only the double digit player that we have in this matchup. And malaking bagay yun, heading into the second half. Boy, first, uh, first one minute and 30 seconds, uh, five points na kagad yan. Ito yung si Dexter Kwan. The N1 siya and the jumper that he had. So ito na, second uh, half na. That's a miss. Mula dito kay Tanheko. Pero napaganda pa sana. Nagkaatapi ka ng bola. Brian Wong with a sorry miss there. Now it's Kwan. He gets it over to you. Konting banggaan doon, pero... Mm -hmm. Hindi niya makukuha yung bola ng maayos. So the ball will go back to Metro Summit. Well, it's good to see Edwin Herrera back here, here in the Philippines, back here at SGS Stadium, one of the better shooters that uh, Hyundai Home Appliance has. Then Heko gets it over to Oi for three. Off to the left it goes. Turnover para sa Metro Summit and Hyundai will have a chance to increase this. Maganda ni laro na itong si Harvey Oy during their last game. I think he hit around three three-pointers during their last game. 
probably needing to heat up as of the moment. Pero si Tanheko at the wrong place there. Was at a good moment. Sana para isupal yung kanyang kalaban. Pero that was a good way to manufacture a shot. Para dito kay Edwin Yap. Oh, again, the big men of both teams, quality big men. So, kaya sa rebounding, halos walang difference. Eh. Oh, 22 rebounds for Hyundai, 24 for Metro Summit. So, lamang pa sa rebound itong Metro Summit. And uh, that's the reason why they are keeping this game close. In fact, Metro Summit was uh, ahead most of the first half. Uy now, a little bit open. Decides to pass it to Tanheko. Sampung segundo, natitira sa kanilang shot clock. Cross court pass na namang muli. And a no look to Merrick C. Mabibitawan niya lang yung bola. At turnover yan para sa Metro Summit. Muling mananakbo ang Hyundai. With a four point lead of their own. Kwan tosses it around. Francis C. Leaves it for you. Wide open and that is looking good. Para kay Jonathan Yu. Jonathan Yu talagang itong mid-range na deadly for uh, Hyundai Home Appliance. And uh, nandiyan din yung shooters nila. That's the reason why hindi ni maka-extend ng uh, malaki itong Metro Summit. Uy goes for the three. Not gonna work that time. Richmond Lee with an effort. Pero si Jonathan Yu pa rin ang mga ka-pick up niya. May tingin pa sa likod. Para makasiguro na walang mga kahabol. Oh, smart play there for Jonathan. You medyo na naunahan na siya ni Richmond Lee and uh, just tapped the ball going towards their basket and uh, was able to get that left-handed layup. And just like that, lamang na ng walang puntos. Ang Hyundai, Richmond Lee, Lee gusto sana tapiasan yun, but uh, that's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. Ito na namang Hyundai Home Appliance ang tumatakbo oh, against Metro Summit. Francis Cena with the mid-range, <laughs> and that is good. Francis C. Just had the basket on his side with that oh, mid-range. Medyo na huli si Harvey Uy. Timing an yung, nasa likod na siya ni Francis eh. Pero nabitin siya or nadelay yung pag-asabay niya. Caught Francis and the arm for that end uh, one for Francis. They're starting to heat up right now. Biglang angat sa labing isa ang kalabangan nitong Hyundai Home Appliance. And that's something that you don't like if you're Metro Summit. No, oh, Metro Summit still scoreless in this quarter. Remain, na pa, oh, remain at 30 points. Ganda ng pagkakasabit nitong si... Pasabit nitong si Merrick C on that drive. Maybe that's something oh, that could help them, you know? Uh, in the first and the second quarters, kita natin na madalas ang kanilang pagbisita sa free throw line. And now with Merrick C visiting, you can also visit Marshall Electrical Metal Products and go for your electrical panel boards and enclosures. Take a look at their website for more information. Merrick C, one for two in that free throw opportunity set. Balik sa sampu ang kalamangan ng Hyundai. Taking it out, bringing it back in. Brian Wong also with a steal at the foul. Ay tatawag dito kay Jonathan Yu. It's a malapitin oh, din ng bola dito ngayon kay Brian Wong. He's able to get the, those uh, fumbles and kahit na sa mga rebounds. And uh, nakakakuha siya dyan sa ilalim. You know, I was honestly wondering kasi siya yung isa sa mga players na talagang maganda yung nilaro ng noong first quarter. So mm -hmm. I feel like he also needs to take more shots and that's an opportunity that they could give to him. Sherwin Yao decides to take it in. Not gonna work. Merrick C na naman ang bumuhay. And that's a big boy move. <laughs> Galing kay Merrick C for the two points and an end one opportunity. Oh, contra tempo yung ginawa niya rito. He got Edwin Yap up. Sinabayan niya eh. Kinontra niya yung pabaksak na si Edwin Yap. Or pa-landing na. That's why he got that one. Unfortunately for him, wasn't able to make his free throw. So that's our massive max uh, strong play of the quarter. Baba sa single digits. Ang lamang nitong Hyundai with that shot falling. As Richmond C. Nahanap na naman itong si Merrick. Iiwan kay Lee. Metro Summit. Rotating the ball. 
Can they find someone though? They only have less than five seconds. That's a shot. They can't make that. But as a Sherwin Yao got in the act of pushing a Hyundai player from behind. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it is. It is as it stands. Sherwin Yao matatawagan, and that's not good. Pangatlo na yan ni Sherwin Yao. Oh, oh, tama. And here's the no, a slasher here for Metro Summit. That's his advantage. Tatlo na yan for him. Oh, that's a big boy move. Just not getting it to fall into the basket. Richmond Lee to Sherwin Yao in that quick one-two step. Looking good for the Metro Summit. Good give-and-go play between Richmond Lee and Sherwin Yao. At pag naka-air itong Sherwin Yao na walang bumabangga sa kanya, halos automatic two points for him. Oh, there you go. That's a block. Coming in from Medic C, one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Yao using the body to protect the ball. And now the lead is down to four. Hindi nagmadali ron si Sherwin Yao in getting. He knows Dexter Kwan is the bigger player. So kailangan niya ng konting separation and that bump gave him that separation. A chance for Metro Summit na ibaba ang kalamangan to a single possession ball game. Mm -hmm. With four minutes and 30 seconds left, Lee on the right corner, stepping back for three. Not gonna work that time. A three on two fast break. Para sa Hyundai, Dexter Kwan powering through the opposition. And extending the lead back to six. Malamang na miss niya tong si Dexter Kwan, tong si si Jonathan Yoon. Dahil may kasabayan na siyang tumatakbo ngayong game na to. Medic C decides to go all the way, and that is not looking good because after a block, galing dito kay Edwin Yap. Siya pa ang may last touch nun. So ibig sabihin, babalik sa Hyundai ang bola. And that is our third defensive play of the game. Looking good, Mr. Edwin Yap. You lead, you and Hyundai lead by six, 43 to 37 with four minutes remaining. Take a note of some of the players right now, specifically from the Hyundai Home Appliances. The Floor General, Jonathan Yu, instructing the rest of the members, and of course, our table crew. Yung mga poging bosses na nairirinig nyo po at yung mga poging na ikita nyo sa table every time na binababa nila yung bola. Sila't sila po yun. Here's a set of play for Hyundai Home. Of high low play. Kenneth Young to Dexter Kwan. Well executed. Alam mo, usually si Dexter Kwan na nasa taas, as Kenneth Young na sa baba. But uh, also works that way for Hyundai Home Appliance. And that's the best case scenario pag galing kayo ng timeout. Mm -hmm. Just think of a play, execute it into the perfection. Just like that. <laughs> a two is a better way to score than a three. Raymond says, beat that, Dexter. Oh, oh that's the uh, pangalawang three-pointers na yan ni Raymond Kwan. And quick short passes now for Hyundai Home Appliance. Chuwok, gusto sana bumawi, pero hindi mangyayari yun. Now it's Sherwin Yao, he has the space. He wants to go all the way. But that's gonna be good defense, brought about by Hyundai. 17 seconds to work with, but this is a oh, Mets cold-blooded three-point shot of the quarter. That's Raymond Kwan, and that's exactly what he does. Boy, wanting to kiss it off the glass, pero masyado malakas. Yun tira niya na yun. Now it's Kwan to Chua. Chua, medyo binato na lang. Young finds you. And that's a way to use the glass as your best friend. Oh, too close. Open 
So again, no area automatic for Jonathan Yu. And that's unfortunate, especially kung kayo yung uh, medyo nalulugi in this situation. You're trailing by seven and every possession matters. Lalo na, it's the second half of action. Oh, that's ten points for Jonathan Yu already. And uh, almost all. If isa lang hindi mid-range, eh, yung kinaliwang fast break niya kanina. This time around, Young. Cross-court pass para kay Chua. He's been doing his best to take control of that shot. It's just not falling right now. Now it's Sherbaniel. Gets it to Kwan, looking for teammates. Bibigay kay C. Pero traveling violation yung itatawag. That was a good basket. But it's no good anyway. La Luna with that traveling violation. So being ko lang, intelligent play there by Merrick. Inuna niya na yung ball eh. But uh, he scrambled for it and took steps. Uh, turnover for Metro Summit. Now they want to get, go ahead and figure something out. Oh, that's a behind-the-back pass. Just couldn't convert on the basketball. You'd love to see those passes, especially from big men. Sherwin Yao finds Harvey Uwe and then Richmond C. Just with nine seconds to work with in the shot clock. Yao goes ahead. And that is a way for them to use it. Lead back down to five points. No, and 12 points already for uh, Sherwin Yao. Lim for three. Off to the left it goes. A chance for a single possession ball game. Yao is on the loose. Oh, that's a lot of contact. He doesn't get the call. Mm -hmm. And the ball went all the way outside. But look at this Mitsubishi Motors drive of the quarter. Sherwin Yao showing some signs of life. Para dito sa kapuna ng Metro Summit. Mm -hmm. And ang question na lang is yung hangin eh, no? Kung uh, they have enough. Hanggang kailan at hanggang saan. Mm -hmm. Which is the reason why Medic C will, you know, chill out for a bit. Shua, he's been trying. His luck from the distance for oh. the longest time. Oh, yan naman ang range na itong si Big J, Jason Chua. Kaya lang hindi na huhulog para sa kanya sa larong ito. Less than 40 seconds to go sa ating third quarter. Yao has been the hot hand and he will continue to be three-pointer. Lead back down to two points. Oh, 15 points for Sherwin Yao. That's one-third of the score that they have right now. This time around, they want to go ahead. Dan gets it to Lim. Hyundai tossing it around. They only have five seconds to work with. Chua offensive rebound. The one kay Young with a reverse. And that is a fundamental big man move. Two seconds left. Ibabato na lang. And that is too short. Hyundai started off strong. Metro Summit ended it strong. Quarter highlights brought to you by Mandarinska. Oh, this was the left-handed fast break by Jonathan Yu. Uh, somehow Merrick C and uh, Sherwin Yao is trying their best to keep them close. Uh, larong ito. And that was fast break and strong drive to the basket by Sherwin Yao. Already have 15 points. And somehow the Hyundai Home Appliance with the number of players that they have leads by 49, 49-45. Uh, End of the third quarter, fourth quarter in just a bit. Back to the ball game we go. This is a fourth quarter moment. Para sa Hyundai. 
and their hopes to have a better final four matchup sa darating na semifinals. Mm, pero itong Metro Summit, nakakaamoy, smelling blood. And somehow, parang alam nilang kaya nilang sumabay dito sa Hyundai Home Appliance. Germany Ao going on ahead. Still no contact whatsoever. Pero parang biglang nabuhayan ng loob. Itong Metro Summit, coach. Oh, another turnover there. Richmond Lee with Jerry Lim defending. What a oh, shot oh, oh, oh. by Richmond Lee. My goodness. I didn't know. I didn't know a strong play could be a washing machine move. <laughs> when as he was a rock the baby. He, oh my goodness. He completes the three point. Alam mo, si Richmond Lee at saka si Jerry Lee magkabat siya. Eh, batch 93. Kaya nakakabiroan din kanina after that shot. This time it's Gossip back in the ball game. He shoots a three. Papakilala sa, sana kaagad. Pabalik. But that's not gonna work so far. Richmond C decides for a three. Off to the right it goes. Mananatili ang kalamangan sa Hyundai. One against four, two against four for Hyundai. So they settle for their half-court setup. They're gonna set the play, Lim. Finding Young and then Kosep. Iiwan na naman. Dito kay Dexter Kwan, favorite midi. It's not gonna work that time. Alam mo, dati ang lamang ng Hyundai is getting the offensive rebounds and somehow Metro Summit really doing a good job boxing out the big men. Talag isang attempt lang itong Hyundai Home Appliance. That's almost a shot made para I sure when he out at the same spot. But a different result sa pagkakataon na yun. Lead still close though. Just one point. Again, a win by Hyundai Home Appliance. Vico na magna number one. Go up and up on number two. While a loss to give go up and up the number one oh. spot and Vico the number two spots. Peter Kosiep getting it through. Angat na naman sa tatlo ang kanilang kalamangan. And I'm sure, you know, Vico and go up and up are taking note of this game para mm -hmm. makita nila kung Sino na bang kailangan natin oh. paghandaan? Who are we going to go... Uh, who are we going up against? Oh, kung sino yung magiging matchup nila. Ah, oh, they just weren't aware of the time. They were able to save it. At manatili sa kanilang half-court set, but... Not for long. Magellan Coffee explored the world through coffee. Batch 75, Patrick Su. Yan ang alumnus natin na sumuporta dito sa ating uh, 2024 season. This time, 7.30 remaining in the final quarter. Kosep, blocked by Raymond Kwan. Now add that guy to the list. Richmond Lee, that was a good-looking shot, but... No, okay. Just gonna get the basket to fall. Conti yung elevation. I think na beatin sa elevation to si Richmond Lee with that side step. Kala, merong ini indare na injury yan si Richmond Lee. Dexter Kwan with the mid range shot. Not gonna work. Yap. Pa paagat pa sana. Pero di naman na kailangan. That's two points now for the guy. Binabangkit natin kanina. Yan yung strength nila. Eh, diba? Yung offensive rebound and follow up. And so far, na limit ng Metro Summit. But on that instant, Edwin Yap with that offensive rebound and follow-up. This time around, balik na naman sa Hyundai ang bola. And then there you finally have it. A miss. Galing sa Hyundai. Yao gets it to Merrick C. Ten seconds left in the shot clock. Tanheko settles for a mid-range. Not gonna work. Juan finds you. Looking for someone. Intercepted by Raymond Juan. He gave up his three-point. There was nobody else there. And that hurts. 
that has to hurt if you're Metro Summit. Oh, oh eh. they had the opportunity to Papano bring down to the lead to just one possession. Kaso lang, four point swing against them kasi nakascore yung Hyundai. 55-48. Oh, that's almost a good looking shot by the smallest guy on the floor. A dip pass papunta kay Sherwin Yao and you know, Metro Summit still within striking distance. Oo, oh, oh, kailangan nila ng magandang uh, stop dito sa possession na to. Oh, oh, that is a turnover. That's the stop you were talking about. Mm -hmm. oh, turnover. Yeah. And uh, it was Hyundai calling the timeout. Of course, five minutes remaining. 55-50 in favor of Hyundai. I don't go for bare minimum, be it for myself, my career, or my car. Coming from the States, we have very high standards, and Hamco has not only met my expectations, but their staff has been more than accommodating. Kaya naman sa Namco talaga, napanatagang loob ko. Sherwin ako, with Namco. Detoy ni Ed Dakiwag, proudly Ilocano. Detoy ti Namco. Detoy ti Mapagtalgan. Also, proudly Ilocano. Back into the ball game we go. It is just a five-point lead. Nahawak nitong Hyundai Home Appliance en route to their semi-final matchup against whoever. Dahil magkakaroon ang chance for a triple tie. They get the victory here. Coach Edster has mentioned a lot of possibilities kanina-kanina lang weekend. You know, re reiterate that in just a bit if that's going to be the case for them. But now they're holding the ball. 15 seconds remaining at Manana Tiliata. Ang bola dito sa yung dai with 12 to work with. Oh, oh and uh, somehow they really need that stop. Now a fresh 10. Yap gets it to you for three. That is looking <laughs> good all straight up. And he knows that he's going in, Joseph Yu. Grave, crucial three pointer. Joseph Yu upping the lead to 8 50, 8 50. Sherwin Yao is going to be needed more than ever. Fine squad. The ball being rotated. C for three. Too strong. Brian Wong. An extra possession and a blocking foul. Is going to be called oh. against Joseph Yu. They need to be careful with their fouls, though, because Kaita, lamang sa dito, it's a Mets cold blood, a three-point shot at the quarter, also coming in from Joseph Yu. But it is a foul that you'd hate to see. La Luna, it's the dying moments of the fourth. Sherwin Yao now. Oh, natapikan it was Dexter Kwan, and that's a steal. Balik sa Hyundai ang bola. Oh, with the eight. Eight point lead, three minutes and 40 seconds. It's a kalaban na ng Metro Summit ang oras. And if you're in that, you don't want to rush things mm -hmm. right now. The, the clock is your friend. At lalo na, meron kayong hawak na walang puntos na kalamangan. You'd want to expend as much time as possible. Mm -hmm. While on the other side, you would want the, the shooters for Metro Summit to take those uh, three pointers. Or itong si Sherwin Yao or Merrick C to go strong to the basket. Those are some of the options that they could heavily use with the last three minutes and 30 seconds in this game. Merrick C, right on cue. Blocking foul yan. Pangatlong team foul na. Itong Hyundai. So just two more fouls. A penalty situation. Na. And if there's something we know about Metro Summit, they're a very good free throw shooting. Oh, oh, that's a third team foul for Hyundai Home Appliance. But uh, they have to I'm hurry up their set place a bit. See, stepping back. Too short on that one. Not the most ideal shot there para sa Metro Summit. You, stop and pop. Not gonna work. But the offensive Ooh. rebounds, coach, it's gonna hurt them. Kukailan pa crucial sa kapa nakakakuwa ang Hyundai Home Appliance. That second attempt with Benson Kanina, they were doing very well. That's Metro Summit, pero the last few possessions, 
Medyo nakakakuha na itong Hyundai Home Appliance with those extra uh, points. And he's the last guy you want taking the shot. Mm -hmm. Ito si Dexter Kwan. But you know what? Rich Z says, I don't care. I can make up for it on the other side. With a Masumax strong play of the quarter. Dala. Itong si Richmond C. What a way to go for this guy. No, uh -huh. Richmond C. Nine points in a ball game. Pangalawang N1 yan na yan. And uh, Thor stackable storage box. Tough, strong, durable, long lasting, multi purpose. Thor storage boxes. Just showing some life now. Para sa Metro Summit, the only trail by seven. Courtesy of that three point play. Galing dito kay Richmond C. Setting their place now, taking their sweet time. Aryan die, but it went to the wrong person. Sure, when he out all alone against two, decides to take it all the way. Good hands up play. Galing dito. Kay Edwin Yap, and now Joseph Yu brings it out to Jonathan. Not gonna work that time. Huling dalawang minuto ng ating ball game is now approaching. Oh, 60-53. So Metro Summit needs to get the stop and then somehow run oh, the ball as quick as they can para naman, uh, to cut this seven-point lead. Seven-point lead, less than two minutes. Hyundai, ang lamang. Choose to be greater with Summit Natural Drinking Water. Our drinking water of choice that helps refresh us with the right hydration. At nagbibigay ng right minerals. Summit Natural Drinking Water. Thirst for more. Taking note of both of the players so far, just making sure that they got a lot of the victory. Final four, better spot. Oh, 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 oh. And you know what, coach? You're seeing one of the plays that you know they've executed oh, from yeah. baseline inbound. Uh, one line, the uh, Hyundai Home Appliance emergency pass then for Edwin Yap. Oh. Almost a steal, labanan ng bola. And that ball will be successfully retrieved. Itong si Richmond Lee. Coach, extended minutes from this guy who would usually beg off. <laughs> a, an, 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 an immense improvement over the past few weeks. No, and uh, somehow, di ba, dati balikan ng konti. Pasab na eh, no? So ngayon, medyo nakukondisyon. Sayang, last game na nila. Better late than never, coach. And they want to end it with a win. That was almost a foul. But no call will be given whatsoever. Richmond C just pleading to our officials. Due to the increase in contact from the swarming Hyundai defense. Now it's Kwan for three. Gagamit in sana yung board. That was too strong. Time management now for Hyundai Home Appliance. It's an tao tao na may Metro Summit to force some turnover. Francis C now going to his right. And Kwan was like, I got you this time, brother. <laughs> oh. Oh, was called for a, a hooking foul there for Francis C using his uh, left hand. At ngayon may chance na namang muli ang Metro Summit. Penalty na rin, ha? ang Hyundai Home Appliance, so they can, you know, enter the basket as much as they want to. That's a good-looking pass, Sir Wiriao, being the life of the party. Para sa Metro Summit, let's take a look at that one more time. Oh, medyo nagkagulo dun yung Hyundai Home Appliance, kung tao-tao or zona. Hindi sumunod si Jonathan Yu thinking that it was a zone. While uh, Edwin Yap tried to get the player, thinking it was man-to-man -man defense. Metro Summit just trailing by five in the fourth.
Richmond Lee. The guy that you're looking at your screens. And Dexter Kwan. Probably the spark plug. Not even the spark plug, because he's going to be the main spark plug of this Hyundai Home Appliance team. You'd also want to have Snowbird Sano back as your main quality, your strength. And making sure that you have everything sorted out. But I'm having said I'm at Porsche Big Sporta. Shouting GBL 2024 season. John Hermiu this time. Too strong. The Gata Pika. Dexter Kwan retrieves it. Less than a minute to go. It's at the hands of Richmond Lee. Iniwan para kay Merrick. And that is going to be good. Para sa Metro Summit. One possession ball game that we are having right now. 60 57. This is starting to be a ball game. I mean, it's a ball game right oh. from the start. Hindi umangat sa sampu yung kalamangan ng Hyundai, pero trinabaho talaga ng tunay ng Metro Summit. Now, for the first time, we're going to be seeing Metro Summit in a, in a man to man present. Look at this an eight second violation. Oh dear! Mm -hmm. Good defense there. Le mo medyo medyo nagulat don ni Hyundai that uh, Metro Summit bigla nag full court pressure. That's the first time that Metro Summit did that. And they can also go for a two for one opportunity. That's too strong. Sherwidiao, not gonna work that time. And now I believe they're gonna have to foul or not. Ooh. It's still safe. Richmond Lee. Can he get a hold of the basketball? No, he can't. Francis C waiting down under. Oh, that's a sorry miss. Coming in from Richmond Lee. And what patience from this guy, Francis C, to just wait for the opportunity at Mount Utakan. Raymond Kwan. Oh, he knows that uh, Raymond Kwan will challenge his shot. Big lump from but. Uh, crucial free throws for Francis C. Alam problema yon para sa kanya. May isa pang timeout ng Metro Summit. One timeout left for each of the teams. Mas komportable sila ngayon knowing that this is a two possession ball game. Yo, wala nang hindi na tumimeout ang Metro Summit. They're not gonna call timeout. Merrick C decides to take it all the way. Absorbing contact. May foul pa. May bibigay with just 6.4 seconds remaining in this game. So the best case, what's the best case scenario for them in this one? Mahirap na tong six seconds. Of course, you will try to make those two free throws to bring it down to one possession and try to go for a steal after that. So far, mm -hmm. na check ang unang box. That's a make para kay Merrick C. That's a miss. And possession will stay with him. Hold up. Oh, last uh, two minutes. Pwede naman i-check yan. Oh, pwede i-review. So the pre players will review. Now gonna, they're going to have to check that. Mm -hmm. Para malaman natin kung saan nga pa talaga lumanding. Oh, very important possession. And uh, somehow malapit kasi yan sa Metro Summit na... So this is the first angle that we're looking at. It's a little too crowded, right? It's a little too crowded. This is the second angle. A little too crowded as well. Okay, we'll try to have one more angle. Eh, yan naman ang Grace Alumni Basketball League. The quality that we try to give for our Participants, the mo yun yung pinaka importante. We're gonna have to take note of this one for now. It's just a little too hard mm -hmm. to see it from this side, but you know some of our officials say nandu naman ng question mm -hmm. so it's a good possibility. Again, the scenario: a win by Hyundai would propel Vicon to the number one spot and go up and up is number two. So makakalaban ng Hyundai, go up and up sa semis. Para naman, if they lost this game, 
then the number one ang go up and up, Vicon ang number two, then nakakalaban ng Hyundai ang Vicon. And with that being said, babalik sa Hyundai. And that's a good timeout by Hyundai Home Appliance kasi ma-advance nila yung bola. Diba? Pag in-advance dito sa kabila, even if a Metro Summit steals the ball, medyo matagal-tagal bago makarating sa kabilang court. Knowing that they still have a timeout, you can't really use a timeout un unless dead ball opportunity siya. Mm -hmm. So, they're gonna really have to take their sweet time kung sakaling maagaw man nila. I mean, pwede nilang ibanda sa isang Hyundai player for it to go to uh, to outside and they can call timeout. But, it's too big of a shot, coach. Oh, ang pinaka maganda is uh, to force a five-second inbound violation. Yes. Para hindi na tumakbo yung oras, and then you could call a timeout. I advance mo ng konti, i advance mo yung uh, bola mo. Pero oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, don't kind of don't. Like instructing. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> just taking note. Just taking note. Of course, our officials are making sure. Mm -hmm. That things will be officiated the right way. Oh, you would want to deny Dexter Kwan to get that scenario. Five second violation. That's not going to be the case. Oh, pero wala pa sa penalty ang Metro oh. Summit. Isang team foul pa lang yan. That uh, gives them a two team foul pa lang. So, tatlo pa yan. Ah, oh, dalawa pa. Before they get into the penalty. So, they have to, they're going to have to make three fouls at least. Oh, that's a steal. But it's going to be for naught as Metro Summit will end their season even with a close fight against Hyundai. Oh, oh, and the that. men in blue <laughs> prevail and will be advancing as what seed exactly are we talking about oh, here, coach? There's an another I don't know, win or loss, naman. number three, sila, but because of the win. Go up and up becomes number two and Vicon number one. So, makakalaba nila would be uh, go up and up sa so semifinal round. So, that I believe is going to be the matchup, the finale of what we're seeing. A triple tie that was already sorted out mm -hmm. with this win. Hyundai, even though they remain at three seed, will be seeing them very soon with a 62 to 58 victory. Contra Symmetro Summit. Let's just take a look at the defensive player of this game brought to you about by Thor. <laughs> Raymond Kwan just everywhere at this place. It, it, he, he makes the face na alam mong makakaagaw siya, Coach. Oh, oh hindi lang uh, sa block shot, but uh, four steals in the ball game for him. And our La Cherie best player of the game is his older brother, si Anya Dexter Kwan. With 16 points, 9 rebounds, and 2 assists, the Quan brothers biniyayaan ng uh, uh, best player at saka defensive player of the game. I think that's it. What a wonderful game. What a close game it has been. Metro Summit, sinimula nila ang laban ng maganda. But Hyundai Home Appliance being one of the best teams that we have in this league. They wanted to finish things off strong. But Babalik, I'm Grace Alumni Basketball League for more basketball action.